the first rule that I learned from him was make the whole world your own. He was very much identified, I think, as Strobe said, with certain parts of the world and certain accomplishments in certain parts of the world. But he had a, a hunger to know and to address the problems of the whole world. And that's where I really got to know him best, was in one of the parts of the world he knew least, which he admitted, finally, after some time, <laughs> that uh, uh, when I first was briefing him as a uh, incoming ambassador to the UN, and I said, you'll spend about 70% of your time on Africa. He looked at me quizzically, and he said, have you even read my resume? <laughs> Um, but the fact was his strategic mind was perfectly adapted to the needs of Africa and his heart was perfectly adapted to the needs of Africa. So I think Kati joined us on his, the first big trip of his tenure as uh, ambassador uh, to the United Nations. And being very strategic, he set out three goals for the trip to Africa. We traveled to, I think, 11 or 12 countries. First would be to bring peace to the Congo. If you think back to that time, no one thought the Congo could be touched or even helped. Let the war go was the basic rule of the day. Uh, secondly, he sought to put HIV AIDS front and center on the agenda. And this was a time when heads of state in Africa wouldn't even talk about it. And third, he would highlight the issue of refugees, uh, or even more importantly, what uh, he called internal refugees, uh, internally displaced people. I watched uh, a man figure out a continent as fast as a human being can, but it wasn't just intellectually, and it wasn't just the strategic Holbrook that approached the problem. In each of these issues he chose to address, he went to the heart of the matter, but also the heart of the people. Um, what would it take to move people? How would you get Washington to care about the Congo? How would you get the UN to acknowledge HIV AIDS as a major security challenge? How would you get bureaucracies to redefine internally displaced people? Um, 